Sorry guys, we're out on a hike today and uh, this is a great time. Fall's starting to roll in. A lot of mushrooms are starting to pop up. This is the uh, one of the best times of the year to start looking for, uh, for mushrooms. And uh, while we're out looking around, we were hoping to come around some Head of the Woods. Uh, some of you may know it as uh, Sheep's Head. Uh, there's also many different types and uh, many different names for it. But uh, I will go ahead and put the, um, the scientific name uh, somewhere along here. Uh, I believe it's called uh, Grafola frondosa. Uh, I'm not going to butcher it, but I probably can't pronounce it. So I'm going to put the, the, the name right here for you. And uh, I'll go ahead and give you a look at this. Um, oh, it's also called Mitaki. Uh, you'll find a lot of times um, uh, these mushrooms are harvested uh, as a food and also as a, as a, uh, as kind of like a medicine. Um, it's got medicinal values to it, all kinds of things. So basically what I'll do is I'll show you this one here. This is a young one. Uh, we're not going to go ahead and pick this yet. We're going to come back uh, at a later date when it grows up uh, to be a little bit bigger and uh, we'll pick it up. But uh, I'll bring you in close and give you a close up of this uh, little beauty growing here. So you see this little beauty right here. It's got all these little leaflets. I'm going to be very gentle with it. I don't want to mess it up. But it'll grow from like a central stem and move on. Uh, have these little petals kind of, they kind of surround it going all the way around. And yeah, you'll see this coloration's got, uh, can range from like a, like a creamy color up to uh, this nice uh, brown color with this little white edge around it. So true identification will help you uh, find, these, um, find these mushrooms. If you take a look at the bark, you'll notice that this is reminiscent of an oak. If you look around on the ground, around the area, you'll find oak leaves and you'll also find some um, acorns. And uh, just basically walk around the base of the tree, take a look, and if you can uh, find it on the ground, it could be right up against the tree or it can be uh, anywhere from a meter or so, maybe even two out from the, from the tree or in a circular uh, motion. So get a look for that. And if you happen to see something that looks like this, you found Hand of the Woods. So right behind me, I've got this big, beautiful oak tree, and uh, we found multiple specimens on this one here. I'm gonna bring you in and show uh, what a small, small one would look like, what a slightly larger one would look like, and we have a harvestable one uh, right over here that we can uh, check out too, and we'll show you that. And then you can get a really good idea of how these guys are built. And uh, here, I'll bring you in close, and we'll work our way up to the, uh, the big fatty. <laughs> so, right here, we got a tiny little one growing, right in there, just starting off at the base of the tree. Uh, it's very well camouflaged, so you have to keep your eyes peeled. Now right over here, we have another one growing right there, a nice one. And that one's a little bit smaller. I'm going to work my way around the tree now, and uh, we'll show you that really nice big one. We have another one here that's slightly larger, and we're right beside it, we got this guy here. Now, so as you can see, the two, the first two that I showed you were growing real close up, uh, up beside the tree. And now you have one other one that's about six inches from the tree. And you have another one that is about, uh, we'll say two feet, two to three feet away from the tree. So here, let's take a cl closer look. Jesse's going to harvest this beauty. Go ahead, do your thing, man. <laughs> here, I'll get that your way. actually looks like it's two it looks like two eh? yeah that little guy on the side there yeah now as you saw earlier like I was t t telling you it kind of grows off of a central stem and you'll have all these little petals kind of growing out one by one kind of layered on top of each other and uh, can you flip it over for a second there give it uh, there we go. You see that's where it was cut off, just from one central stem. And uh, I don't believe they stain, eh, if you rub them or anything? Nope. This is nope. not stained. Yeah, so they don't stain. There is Would another... Like say a couple words? Or, yeah. there, there is another kind of mushroom that grows earlier in the year uh, that looks similar, grows in a similar way, called the black staining polypore or Berkeley's polypore. It will stain black when you cut it. Um, it is edible when it's young. Uh, but apparently not as good as Hen of the Woods. Maitake is probably one of the better eating uh, mushrooms for sure. It's a meaty mushroom. It's called Maitake. Uh, uh, maitake means the dancing mushroom um, because you would do a little dance once you found one in celebration. 
Yeah. End of the woods. There we go. Look at that beauty, guys. That's fresh. That's about as fresh as it can get. It's fresh. Yeah, I go really low underneath it. Yeah. Oh, there's two. Or. Yeah. Ooh. There's actually even three. Yeah. This probably would have, maybe would have gotten a bit bigger. There you go, guys. Got a little bit more. Well, we'll go ahead and add that to the collection. And uh, we'll poke around here a little bit more. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll get our hands on some more. That would be nice. We're at a different location now, walking around looking for some uh, hand of the woods. And I did come across a nice patch of uh, wintergreen. So here, check this out. So, uh, we did. We were out looking for a uh, for uh, hen of the woods, and we got a little bit lucky, and we found something else. And this is the first one that we found so far this year that's been decent enough to eat. So take a look at this. If we always want to cut it at the base and not like rip it off the tree, but I don't think you can really rip it off the tree. And also, you're gonna get little bugs on it. Yeah, chicken beetles. Oh, oh look, my hand's full of them. <laughs> yeah, we call these chicken beetles. He's really full of them. This one here. But see this tough inner part? You don't want to eat that. You want to eat this nice, soft outer edge. So you're going to cut pretty much around like this and just eat that outer edge. This inner edge, it's a little tough, hard to digest. So that's something you may not want to really eat. For really, really young ones, not the end of the world, but for Smells good, eh? Oh, smells amazing. <laughs> we got this pile here. We got another one here that's probably a little bit older than uh, than this batch. But uh, the good thing about it is, this is the tree that I harvested from when you saw that, when I did that video on that giant mushroom hull. This is the same tree. So, for those of you looking out there for, uh, you know, hunting for your mushrooms, always just uh, keep coming back to those spots. Try to remember where they are. And you never know if you're going to keep on coming back to a harvest for, for many years to come. Just a thought, guys. So while we were uh, hiking through and we found that weird mushroom there, we also found some past two black trumpets. It's kind of hard to tell uh, what it is if you don't know what you're looking for, but we found a decent patch of them. And uh, we've been looking for quite a while trying to find a good stand of these things around. And I think we found one. So I'll give you a quick look. It's going to be hard to see at first, but um, there's a lot of these guys around here. we got a few growing here, some growing here and here. And as we move over to the hill, there's some there, some there, all the way up, all the way up the hill. They're everywhere. Make sure to stick around and follow the steps for your uh, ID of the um, hand of the woods. And uh, the next time you're out, keep your eyes peeled. You never know if you're going to find some. Thanks for watching. Get on explore. all our hen of the woods and chicken of the woods so it was a good day